So we're doing a house call kind of today. Uh, something interesting I wanted to share. We got an Orion solar or not, an Orion alternator charger, and the weird thing that was happening is, is it would actually show less amps going into the battery when it was on. It's the weirdest thing. And what we ended up figuring out was it was this ground. Look at that ground, that ain't great. It's not great here. Let's see if we can focus. That's not a great ground. Uh, and also on the chassis itself wasn't a great ground. And uh, this is a, show you real quick. This is a uh, Ford Transit van. And the thing about these vans is they're put together with glue now, which means you can't just ground to any part of the panel. So it was grounded just to a, one of the inside panels, but we think it just, it wasn't getting a very good connection. So we're gonna go to one of these grounding points or we might actually uh, go here, but we're also going to a two gauge ground wire, which is gonna be way better than what was there. And hopefully, we should be getting uh, much better charging because actually the, the way it was working was the Orion was actually pulling the ground from batteries, most of it. It was just a weak ground and it was just such a gremlin, took us a long time to figure out. So uh, stick around for the result. So here's a quick example of what we're seeing. So you see the smart shunt pushing nine amps in from solar. We're gonna turn on the Orion and watch the smart shunt amps drop. Because I haven't hooked up that ground yet, but I did just hook it all back up, so we're ready to. Look at that, amps drop. Never seen that before. So hopefully, this will fix it. So we got the ground there. We're running it to right here. Uh, now let's see what happens when we turn this on. Turn that on. Yeah, what the heck? Let's watch. Should see the smart shunt jump from four, not go down like it did last time. There it goes. 12 amps, that's great. That's why I was up there this last weekend. These are starting to change already. Yeah, not ready for We can look at maybe changing some settings. It's only so many amps we can pull from the alternator. And really, you don't want to be pulling a ton of amps. But that's better than it was for sure. So, uh, we might check a couple more things and clean this up a little bit, but I think this customer's in better shape. Uh, so, hope this helps.